Underground prisons and people burning themselves alive sounded like a nightmare. But that nightmare began as a dream, many years ago. In 1935, during World War II, Italy invaded Ethiopia through Eritrea. After the Allied victory, Eritrea was federated with Ethiopia by the United Nations, much to the dismay of many Eritreans. Soon the Ethiopian regime crushed the Eritreans' cultural and political rights and ultimately imposed Ethiopian rule. Eritrean secessionists then began a guerrilla war for independence in 1961. A group split from the ELF. Professing Marxist doctrine and led by Isaias Afewerki, the new movement became known worldwide for its discipline, military effectiveness, and its promise of equality for all Eritrean people. Meanwhile, a new military regime known as the Derg had taken control of Ethiopia. The Derg was even more oppressive towards Eritreans. Tens of thousands were murdered, millions were displaced, and famine spread across the country. As the unpopularity of the Derg grew, a civil war erupted. This caused Ethiopian and Eritrean rebels to become unlikely allies. Together, they defeated the Derg in 1991. On April 27, 1993, Eritrea was officially declared an independent state, and the EPLF organized itself as a political party known as the People's Front for Democracy and Justice. Isaya Safawerki was pronounced president of Eritrea and has ruled the country ever since. The dream of Eritrea becoming the jewel of Africa under its hero liberator quickly disappeared. In 2001, a border dispute with Ethiopia gave Afawerki an excuse to tighten his grip on the Eritrean people. He forces them into indefinite military service, working them like slaves. He has shut down all private newspapers and imprisoned more than 30 journalists, many of whom are still held in secret underground prisons without charge. SIS has even imprisoned senior members of his own political party after they called for reform and the implementation of the Constitution written in 1997. These are only a few of the reasons why so many people are escaping Eritrea today.